Hi everybody, it's Miss Monica. How are you today? Um, I'm sitting in my kitchen and I've been thinking about you guys so, so, so much. And um, I wanted to find a way that we could be together and enjoy something that some of us have enjoyed together before. And so today I'm going to read for you Frog and Toad Our Friends. And the first story is called Spring. Frog ran up the path to Toad's house. He knocked on the front door. There was no answer. Toad, Toad, shouted Frog. Wake up, it's spring, Blah, said the voice from inside the house. Toad, Toad, cried Frog. The sun is shining. The snow is melting. Wake up. I am not here, said the voice. Frog walked into the house. It was dark. All the shutters were closed. Toad, where are you, called Frog. Go away, said the voice from the corner in the room. Toad was lying in his bed. He had pulled all the covers over his head. Frog pushed Toad out of bed. He pushed him out of the house and onto the front porch. Toad blinked in the bright sun. Help, said Toad. I can't see anything. Oh, don't be silly, said Frog. What you see is the clear, warm light of April. And it means that we can begin a whole new year together, Toad. Think of it, said Frog. We'll skip through the meadows and we'll run through the woods and we'll swim in the river. In the evenings, we will sit right here on your front porch and we will count all the stars. You can count them, Frog, said Toad. I'm going to be too tired. I'm going back to bed. Toad went back into the house. He got back into his bed and he pulled the covers over his head again. But Toad, cried Frog, you will miss all the fun. Listen, Frog, said Toad, how long have I been asleep? You have been asleep since November, said Frog. Well then, said Toad, a little more sleep will not hurt me. Come back again and wake me up at about half past May. Good night, Frog. But Toad, said Frog, I will be too lonely until then. Toad did not answer. He had fallen back asleep. Frog looked at Toad's calendar. The November page was still on top. Frog tore off the November page. He tore off the December page and the January page and the February page and the March page. He came to the April page. Frog tore off the April page too. Then Frog ran back to Toad's bed. Toad, Toad, wake up. It's May now. What, said Toad? Can it be May so soon? Yes, said Frog. Look at your calendar. Toad looked at the calendar. The May page was on top. Why, it is May, said Toad, and he climbed out of bed. Then he and Frog ran outside to see the world was looking in the spring, to see how the world was looking in the spring. The end. So I hope you enjoyed that little story, and tomorrow I'll read the next chapter in our beautiful book. It's April, and I hope you're enjoying this beautiful spring. Bye now.